Saint Padre Pio is renowned for making many shockingly detailed prophecies in his lifetime. Some of his prophecies were documented, while others have been passed down to modern-day generations by mouth. Still, the scariest of all his prophecies was the prophecy of the Three Days of Darkness, the one that has recently shocked the entire world and got everyone talking. With the news of war, natural disasters, and trials trending, people believe the world is coming to an end. What could Padre Pio's warning be, and how is it a deathly scary revelation? Padre Pio, baptized Francesco, shared one great mystical phenomenon with St. Francis of Assisi, the stigmata. Join us as we reveal this frightening prophecy of St. Padre Pio that has shocked the entire world. In 1959, Padre Pio, a revered Catholic saint, is said to have conveyed a profound warning known as the final warning of the three days of darkness. According to accounts, Padre Pio shared a vision for seeing unprecedented darkness that would envelop the world. This period of darkness, lasting three days and nights, is described as a divine intervention when the ordinary laws of nature would be suspended. In his supposed revelation, Padre Pio urged people to prepare spiritually and practically for this impending event. The darkness, he suggested, would be so profound that it would extinguish all artificial light sources. To withstand this celestial occurrence, people were advised to stay indoors, refraining from venturing outside during these three days. In a spiritual context, Padre Pio emphasized the importance of prayer, repentance, and seeking God's mercy to protect during this extraordinary period. The final warning encompasses elements of both prophecy and spiritual guidance. It is often presented as a call to faith and preparedness, a reminder that in the face of cosmic events, spiritual resilience and connection with the divine become paramount. The idea of such apocalyptic visions has resonated with believers, adding layers of mystery and urgency to Padre Pio's spiritual teachings. While interpretations may vary, the final warning of the three days of darkness has left an indelible mark on the spiritual consciousness of those who look to Padre Pio for guidance in navigating the uncertainties of the future. Padre Pio, born Francesco Forgione on May 25, 1887 in Pietrelcina, Italy, was a Catholic friar, mystic, and stigmatist who became widely renowned for his spiritual devotion and reported supernatural experiences. Growing up in a deeply religious environment, young Francesco displayed early signs of piety and an inclination toward religious life. At 15, he entered the Capuchin Franciscan order, beginning his lifelong journey into faith and mysticism. Ordained as a priest in 1910, Padre Pio soon garnered attention for his profound prayer life and commitment to serving the faithful. However, it was in 1918 that his life took a mystical turn for physical suffering when, according to accounts, he received the stigmata, the wounds of Christ on his hands, feet, and side. These mysterious markings were said to bleed, a phenomenon that persisted for about 50 years. Amid skepticism and scrutiny, Padre Pio's reputation for holiness grew, drawing pilgrims seeking solace and healing to the small town of San Giovanni Rotondo, where he resided. His reported ability to read hearts and offer insights into people's lives further enhanced his mystique. Despite facing ecclesiastical investigations and restrictions, he continued his spiritual ministry, guiding the faithful through the sacraments of confession and prayer. Beyond the stigmata, Padre Pio was attributed with various supernatural gifts, including bilocation, being in two places at once, and the ability to communicate with angels. His intense spiritual life and commitment to the teachings of Christ endeared him to many, while others questioned the authenticity of his mystical experiences. Padre Pio's passing on September 23, 1968, did not diminish his impact. Canonized as a saint by Pope John Paul II in 2002, he is remembered not only for the mysterious signs of his spiritual journey, but also for the compassion, guidance, and solace he provided to countless individuals seeking a deeper connection with their faith. The Padre Pio phenomenon remains a fascinating chapter in the annals of Catholic mysticism, inviting both believers and skeptics to contemplate the mysteries of faith and the enduring influence of a humble friar from southern Italy. Padre Pio, 
also known for his unwavering dedication to prayer, exemplified a life deeply rooted in spiritual devotion. His days were marked by a profound connection with the divine, spending long hours in prayer seeking communion with God. This commitment to worship became the cornerstone of his spiritual journey, shaping his identity as a revered and contemplative figure. Despite his trials, Padre Pio was also known for his charitable endeavors. He dedicated himself to helping those in need, offering solace to the afflicted and compassion to the suffering. His acts of charity extended beyond prayer, illustrating a commitment to embodying the teachings of love and service that lie at the heart of Christian doctrine. In the wake of Padre Pio's passing, his followers passionately upheld his legacy, defending the miracles attributed to him against skeptics. These miracles often recounted as extraordinary events defying natural explanation, are viewed by his devotees as divine manifestations affirming the sanctity of Padre Pio. Criticism or dismissal of these miracles is met with spirited resistance from those who see them as tangible evidence of his spiritual connection and divine favor. For the followers of Padre Pio, his life remains a source of inspiration, a testament to the transformative power of faith, prayer, and charity. They stand unwavering in their defense of his miracles, viewing them as sacred affirmations of his enduring impact on the lives of those who turn to him in faith and devotion. Pio penned a letter to his superior, detailing a profound revelation from our Lord about the end times, encompassing various specific insights. Within these revelations, he delivered a sobering message, likening the world to ruins and expressing concern over humanity's deviation from the right path, opting for roads leading to the desert of violence. He issued a cautionary note, emphasizing the impending catastrophe if people failed to embrace humility, charity, and love from the divine source. Pio conveyed a sense of helplessness in interceding for humanity, expressing concerns about the potential conclusion of religious piety. He lamented the destruction of life by those who intended to cherish it. Discussing the environmental state, he observed how the earth, initially entrusted as a garden, had devolved into a poisoned atmosphere. Pio stressed the necessity of profound heavenly intervention to purify the dwelling place of humanity. A striking prophecy also emerged as Padre Pio warned of an imminent three-day period of total darkness, which is our main focus. During these days, people would remain in a state akin to death, deprived of sustenance. However, the light would eventually return, though many might not witness its reappearance. He foresaw mass panic and misguided attempts at salvation during turbulent times. People, driven by fear, would run in different directions, only to meet tragic ends. Describing the earth as sick, he predicted earthquakes resembling a crawling snake, causing widespread panic and destruction. The falling of stones would lead to the tragic demise of many. Using the metaphor of ants, Padre Pio portrayed a time when people would forsake spiritual values for material gains. He envisioned looting, assaults on warehouses, and a lack of necessities during dark days. His chilling revelation also suggested the disappearance of significant land, wiping away a country from geographical maps, accompanied by the loss of history, wealth, and countless lives. Padre Pio lamented the emptiness of the concept of love among humans. He emphasized the need for genuine compassion, warning that the wrath of God would not spare men of science but only those with compassionate hearts. In desperation, he expressed uncertainty about how to lead humanity toward repentance. He cautioned that failure to change course would unleash the tremendous wrath of God. He made a prophecy of a meteorite and its impact signified a catastrophic event surpassing the devastation of war. The fallout would cancel numerous things, serving as a potent sign. That's not all because he also envisioned a tragic experience for humanity involving overwhelming forces like rivers, fire, and poisons. Amidst the turmoil, he assured that he would remain close to those with pure hearts. But that hasn't stopped doubting Thomas's from disbelieving his warnings. Why did people believe Padre Pio's final warning, and what have other priests said about his warnings? Believers find resonance in Padre Pio's ominous warning, attributing weight to his words through the lens of a rare and mystical phenomenon, the stigmata. 
In the spiritual narrative that unfolded in 1918, Padre Pio became a living testament to the mysterious and the sacred as he began to experience the stigmata. This inexplicable event left both the faithful and the curious astounded, grappling with the profound nature of the wounds that manifested on his body. The stigmata, a phenomenon marked by the appearance of wounds mirroring the five inflicted on Christ during the crucifixion, defies conventional explanation. Throughout history, these divine wounds have been reported in the lives of saints and mystics, presenting a rare and awe-inspiring connection with the sacred. For Padre Pio, these stigmatic wounds bled periodically, a manifestation that perplexed observers and invited contemplation on the supernatural. What makes this phenomenon all the more captivating is the perplexing nature of the wounds, bleeding yet immune to infection. The scars, resembling the agony of Christ, carried a unique fragrance of roses, a scent that intertwined the divine with the earthly. This mystical wound further fueled the intrigue surrounding Padre Pio and his profound connection to the sacred. In the tapestry of this mysticism, the wounds exhibited a cyclical nature, healing spontaneously, only to reappear after the passage of days or weeks. This rhythmic recurrence added a layer of enigma to the stigmata, prompting reflection on the divine orchestration at play. For believers, the stigmata bestowed upon Padre Pio is a tangible embodiment of holiness and spirituality. It transcends the boundaries of conventional understanding, leaving an indelible mark on the faithful who see in these wounds a profound connection to the divine. The aura of mystery surrounding Padre Pio's stigmata endures, captivating hearts and minds as a testament to the extraordinary manifestations that intertwine the sacred and the earthly. Some say Padre Pio poured acid on his hand regularly to create and maintain the wound. No one knows the real truth. Padre Pio's final warning has sparked interest and debate within religious circles, creating ripples that extend through various beliefs and interpretations. The impact of this warning lies not just in its content, but in the responses it has elicited from followers and skeptics alike. For those deeply rooted in religious beliefs, especially within Catholicism, Padre Pio's warnings carry a weighty significance. Many see his predictions as a call to spiritual preparedness, a reminder to adhere more closely to faith, prayer, and repentance. Three Days of Darkness is often viewed as a symbolic representation of a profound spiritual purification, a transformative period leading to a spiritual rebirth. At the same time, skeptics question the validity and authenticity of such prophecies, emphasizing the lack of empirical evidence and the subjective nature of interpreting religious messages. Critics argue that predictions of catastrophic events, including periods of darkness, have been part of religious discourse throughout history, and attaching specific dates or details can be interpreted in various ways. The widespread dissemination of Padre Pio's final warning through multiple media, including the internet and social platforms, has led to a broader audience grappling with its implications. Discussions range from theological debates within religious communities to more general considerations of apocalyptic themes in popular culture. Interestingly, Padre Pio's final warning has prompted some individuals to reevaluate their perspectives on spirituality, regardless of their religious affiliation. It has become a catalyst for self-reflection, leading many to ponder their beliefs, actions, and the broader existential questions of life. While the ultimate impact of Padre Pio's final warning on religion is challenging to quantify, its influence lies in its ability to stir conversations, evoke contemplation, and underscore the complex relationship between faith, prophecy, and the human quest for meaning. Whether viewed as a profound spiritual revelation or met with skepticism, the warning has undeniably left an imprint on religious discourse, inviting believers and non-believers alike to grapple with the mysteries of faith and future uncertainties. Padre Pio's final warnings about three days of darkness have garnered attention from various priests, each offering their perspectives on this enigmatic prophecy. Numerous famous priests have addressed this topic, and their interpretations often reflect spiritual insights and personal convictions. One prevalent theme among these priests is that Padre Pio's warnings are a call to spiritual preparedness. They stress the importance of cultivating a solid relationship with God, 
emphasizing prayer, repentance, and adherence to moral principles. According to these priests, the three days of darkness serve as both a purifying and transformative event, urging believers to seek spiritual fortitude to withstand the impending trials. Some priests approach Padre Pio's prophecy with caution, encouraging a discerning attitude. While acknowledging the mystique surrounding the saints' predictions, they emphasize the need for believers to interpret such prophecies within the context of Catholic teachings and theological understanding. These priests highlight the importance of aligning personal faith with the broader doctrinal framework of the Catholic Church. A prevailing sentiment among many priests is that prophecies, including those attributed to Padre Pio, should not overshadow the core tenets of the Christian faith. They caution against becoming overly fixated on apocalyptic predictions, urging believers to ground their spirituality in the enduring messages of love, compassion, and service found in the gospel. On the other hand, some priests express a deep conviction in the validity of Padre Pio's warnings. They see the three days of darkness as a profound and imminent event, signaling a divine intervention in human affairs. These priests often encourage a sense of urgency, prompting believers to heed the saints' admonitions and embrace a heightened spiritual vigilance. The interpretations of Padre Pio's final warnings about three days of darkness vary among famous priests. While some approach the prophecy cautiously, emphasizing the need for discernment, others view it as a pivotal call to spiritual readiness. Ultimately, these perspectives reflect the diverse ways the Catholic clergy engages with and interprets prophetic messages within the broader framework of Christian faith. So what disastrous events in the world today are a probable reflection of Padre Pio's final warnings? Let's find out. Now, what is currently happening in the world today that aligns with Padre Pio's warnings? The Israeli-Palestinian conflict, an enduring source of tension and strife, unfolds in the complex theater of the Middle East, captivating global attention with its historical roots and contemporary ramifications. Padre Pio's final warnings, echoing through time, seem to find a disturbing resonance in the events unfolding in the region today. As we witness the clashes between Israeli and Palestinian forces, it becomes an intricate tapestry woven with geopolitical intricacies, historical grievances, and the human toll of violence. The echoes of Padre Pio's admonitions reverberate in the instability that engulfs the Holy Land, where ancient disputes intertwine with modern geopolitical considerations, creating a volatile mix that fuels the ongoing conflict. Padre Pio's warnings, rooted in spiritual foresight, might find parallels in the profound consequences of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The anguish, suffering, and displacement endured by individuals caught in the crossfire mirror the somber prophecies of the revered spiritual figure. The struggle for control over sacred sites, symbolic of diverse religious beliefs, accentuates the profound complexities that underlie this enduring conflict. In the modern world, the Israeli-Palestinian war stands as a poignant chapter in the narrative of human conflict, where nations, ideologies, and the quest for self-determination collide. Padre Pio's cautionary messages addressing the consequences of humanity's divergence from spiritual values, might be interpreted through the lens of the pervasive strife that persists in the region. The palpable tension, the quest for justice, and the elusive pursuit of lasting peace echo the themes that Padre Pio warned could unfold if humanity veered from its spiritual compass. As the Israeli-Palestinian conflict continues to unfold, it serves as a testament to the enduring challenges that humanity faces in reconciling differences, fostering understanding, and embracing the principles of peace. The complex interplay of historical legacies, political ambitions, and cultural identities renders the situation intricate, and the warnings of Padre Pio resonate as a poignant reminder of the enduring quest for harmony and spiritual fulfillment amid the world's tumult. Even natural disasters show Padre Pio's warning coming to pass. The disasters threatening the Kaaba in Mecca are a prime example. The idea of natural disasters casting shadows upon this sacred site is inherently charged with spiritual implications. The Kaaba holds profound religious significance for Muslims worldwide, 
and any potential threat to its sanctity raises questions that resonate beyond the physical realm. Padre Pio's final warnings, shrouded in mysticism and divine foresight, resonate with those who view his prophecies spiritually. The alignment of these warnings with the prospect of natural disasters impacting the Kaaba weaves a narrative that transcends the immediate concerns of geological events. It intertwines the earthly with the spiritual, prompting contemplation on the interconnectedness of cosmic occurrences and prophetic messages. For believers, this alignment may serve as a source of reflection, sparking discussions on the interplay between the divine and the tangible world. It invites contemplation on the nature of prophecy, the significance of sacred spaces, and the intricate threads that weave through the fabric of faith. As we navigate the complex tapestry of spirituality and worldly events, the alignment of Padre Pio's warnings with potential threats to the Kaaba invites believers to delve into the realms of interpretation, seeking a deeper understanding of the spiritual undercurrents that may shape our collective journey. Amid uncertainties, these intersections of prophecy and reality beckon believers to explore the nuances of faith, offering a canvas upon which personal convictions and communal beliefs converge. Some have also noted the occurrence of famine in various lands, aligning with the final warnings issued by Padre Pio. As famine unfolds in different parts of the world, those who adhere to the beliefs associated with Padre Pio find significance in aligning current events with his warnings. It's important to note that interpretations of such prophecies can vary widely, and individuals may perceive these events through the lens of their faith and spiritual convictions. While some people may see a correlation between the prophecies of Padre Pio and the occurrence of famine, others may approach these matters with skepticism or view them as open to diverse interpretations. The intersection of spirituality, prophecy, and worldly events remains a complex and subjective realm where beliefs intertwine with the human experience, offering comfort, guidance, or a sense of meaning to those who find solace in such teachings. Not to mention that the global landscape is no stranger to discord, reflecting a series of disagreements that crisscross nations and transcend borders. In international relations, differing perspectives on political, economic, and social matters create a tableau of disputes that often echo the prevailing sentiments of our time. These disagreements manifest in various forms, from diplomatic clashes to trade conflicts, reflecting the multifaceted nature of the global community. The mention of mass panic in Padre Pio's final warnings adds a layer of complexity to the narrative. The correlation between these four warnings and the contemporary state of international affairs invites contemplation. The world today grapples with an array of challenges, ranging from geopolitical tensions to economic inequalities. These disparities foster an environment where uncertainty and anxiety can take root, contributing to the potential for mass panic. As nations navigate intricate diplomatic relationships and contend with the consequences of global events, the fabric of societal stability becomes susceptible to strain. The echoes of Padre Pio's warnings resonate against this backdrop, prompting reflection on the interconnectedness of spiritual insights and worldly affairs. Whether one views these prophecies through a lens of faith or skepticism, the undeniable reality remains. The world is in constant flux, and the ebb and flow of international disagreements shape the contours of our collective experience. In exploring the nexus between global discord and Padre Pio's warnings, one must ponder the nature of foresight and its role in navigating the complexities of our shared existence. The intricate dance of nations on the world stage, punctuated by disagreements and differing ideologies, underscores the severe quest for stability in an ever-evolving world. Thanks for watching another episode of Beyond Discovery. While you're still here, click on the other videos you see on your screen right now. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.